Good morning, this is Larry McMillan with a stock market update on Monday, <clears throat> June 20th. Uh, the market is closed today for the Juneteenth holiday, so um, you can relax and just absorb this information, I guess. Uh, not too much has changed. Uh, we're still in a bearish mode. The uh, SPX made new lows again last week, so the pattern of lower lows and lower highs continues, and as long as that's the case, we're in a bear market. You don't really need to know anything else beyond that. <clears throat> um, the equity only, oh, let me just finish up there. Uh, we are in an oversold state. So if the SPX uh, were to rally, there is some resistance around 38.70, and then the 20-day moving average is around 39.80, and there are two gaps on the chart, the second of which would be filled at 40.17. So an oversold rally could carry up to that level, 40.17 or so, and still easily be uh, still within the realm of a bear market. The equity only put co ratios are back on sell signals. Uh, they could easily reverse the buy signals, at least according to the computer analysis programs that we use on those charts. But for right now, they're moving higher again, and that's bearish. The uh, market breadth has been terrible. I mean, the uh, the breadth oscillators are in a very oversold condition, and they're on sell signals. The same thing with new highs versus new lows. Uh, almost, new highs are almost non-existent, and uh, new lows are quite dominant, so that indicator is also negative, but oversold. Uh, remember, oversold does not mean buy, so we don't act on oversold conditions. We don't act bullishly on oversold conditions until actual buy signals are confirmed. Uh, VIX has uh, backed off a little bit from its peak, and in doing so, it generated the only buy signal indicator that we have right now. In fact, it gave a backup buy, so there's a, a the initial buy was on, uh, I believe, June um, 9th, and uh, then the backup uh, buy was last week. <clears throat> now, that's um, interesting and certainly worth trading but doesn't change the fact that we're still in a bear market. The trend of VIX, which is a more intermediate term um, indicator, is negative, and the construct of VIX derivatives is also modestly negative. So adding these all up, everything is pretty negative. Uh, there are extreme oversold conditions, and we do have the one buy signal. So we're maintaining a core bearish position, and we'll trade these um, oversold buy signals around that um, as long as they occur. So I invite you to uh, check out our daily letters uh, on our website. This market is moving fast and things do change quickly and uh, otherwise have a great short week trading.